Hello there, farmers. It may have only been, uh, well, I suppose it wasn't a video of you lot. You lot, you lot, rude, you lot. All of you lovely farmers. Anyway, yes, it's another week. Although it does sort of continue on the same day we were on, just later on in the day. Because that's how it's working out. Right, yes, I'm here at the Chicken Lills because I do wish to talk to Lilith and buy some uh, buy some chicken feed. I do want to buy something. I want to buy some chicken feed. I'm not reading a dialogue because I can't be bothered, really. I don't know why. Uh, I want to buy 900... No, yes, I'm going to do. I'm gonna go all out. I'm going to buy all of that because I will use it. And it's not like I'm not going to spend this later anyway. So, yes, that's what I'm going to get. So I'll get some of that. Want to buy anything else? I do not want to buy anything else. Uh, oh, no. Ah, so annoying. No, I don't want to buy anything else. Yeah. Um, yeah, hello. <laughs> it's quite weird. Because uh, I didn't actually start in the house, which I usually do. Very strange. Anyway, let's get away from this dialogue that we don't need to see. And then we'll carry on with the rest of my giving gifts to people. And then I shall see you for our daily uh, look around our snooping session. Because today we're going to look around the beach. Whoop. Daily dose of Ellie. Doctor prescribes it once a day. Hello, Ellie. Oh, JD, is something the matter? Right. Let's read this a second. I'm happy to see you, but since this is a clinic, I also worry whenever you drop by. Kiss. Right, okay. So I made the mistake by thinking that was the actual red heart. That is not the red heart. That is... I think it's supposed to be an orange heart. But anyway, I got a flower for you, Ellie. Thank you, hee hee, but are you sure it's okay? Because obviously on my practice run, I, fa I found that out. Right, here we go. Thank you, hee hee, but are you sure it's okay? I am okay. I'm sure it's okay, so I mean... I mean, that's what I mean. Right, anyway. You better make sure that monster of yours doesn't cause any trouble, Dr. Tim. I was enough to call in a witcher. And, oh look, I'm still here. I usually cut away. Yes, I'm staying here because I want to go look around some places. Right, as it turns to that. Can I... I really want to go and try and confess my sins, but I don't... Yeah, we're going to have a quick look. We're going to have a quick look. Let's go and have a look in the Church of the Seven. He's still there. Okay, that's not very good. Okay, it's bad. Ah, all right, okay then. Uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go and look around the square. Rose Square, as it's called. And uh, the barn. The barn? No, not the barn. We'll look around the barn where we buy a cow. Uh, no, we're going to look around the beach, is what I meant to say. So obviously I do need to give something to uh, Kai as well. Let's have a little look around. We've had a look around here roughly before, but we've seen got nice little paracels and uh, rugs. Or what are they called? Towels? Towels, not rugs. We've got a chair there. Uh, this is Kai's shop, who I can't seem to go in at the moment. What's this one? There is a some small writing near the door. Zach's house. Do not enter without permission. And we can never go in there, as far as I'm aware. And I think this house belongs to someone, the fisherman that we found. Is it Greg? It's Greg. But I can't... Yeah, it'd be, sh it'd be a shame we can't get on there. Anyway, Kai, I want to talk to you, Kai. Oh, hi. Want something to eat? I want some water, please. Because I'm a cheapskate. Okay, what a sec. Yeah, water. Good call. Nice. And I have a loaf of bread for you. I baked it myself this morning. Thank you. You're the only guy who's nice to me. You do seem like a, a nasty person, I must admit. I I, you're not my favourite person. Anyway, I wish we could have that boat. I would name it the, the Mookie Brewery, but we can't. We can't, because it's not mine. Why do these things not belong to me? It's not what makes sense to me. I can't understand. I can't deal with the fact that these don't belong to me. Anyway, let's talk to these ladies. I think this is a ladies' meeting, so... Uh, a mother's meeting, not a ladies' meeting. Let's talk to them. Right, so who is this? This is Basil thing, the Snoopy one. The village woman gather at the square at noon time. Their stories are fun to listen to. Basil can't join in because all he talks about are plants. Right, let's talk to uh, Sasha. It's a fun when women talk together, but... But what? But what? Man, I can't stop jabbering once you get her started. Ah, oh, I see. So I something else. Lilia's husband is searching for a special desert flower that blooms only once a decade to help her recover. Her health. I envy Lilia for that, but she's lovely. Maybe I should have shouldn't have told him about that flower. Oh, so you the one that calls it all. I like the fact that even though this game is sort of like nothing much to it, you can sort of tell that there used to be like a, the past with, like obviously this lady here told Lilith's husband about the flower, as she says there, and we found out stuff about when they were younger. I actually, it's one of the things I do feel about this game. Like they do actually feel like this world is alive, and that they were, there has been a past prior to where you came in, which is very interesting. Anyway, Manor, the one that likes to talk a lot. 
Oh, good afternoon. I often come here in the square when I have time to kill. I seldom have much free time, but I love places where people are gathered. It's fun to listen to other people's stories, isn't it? What's that look for? Of course I listen to other people's It's just that you don't speak, so I have to do all the talking. That is true, I suppose. When I was a teenager, the wife of the Id was still alive, and I used to play with Shashu and Lilia. In those days, Duke was thin and very hip. Yeah, I don't believe that. Lies, all lies. Uh, yes, we've got a trash can here. A garbage can. You put your litter in there, and they don't... And the litter doesn't, um... What's it called? <gasps> Count towards your litter total. But this, notice for the Cow Festival, when summer the 20th, from 10am, where Yodel Ranch. It's a good job we read that, because uh, I actually thought it was in the... Here. Enter your best cow from the mayor. Yes, I actually thought it was in the square. I would have found it anyway, but I thought it was at the square, but it's not. It's at Euro Ranch. Anyway, back to the farm, I think. Back on a farm with JD and Tommy, who's in the house. Never leaves. Maybe I'll start getting him out later on. Uh, yeah, right, I thought I'd keep in the watering, because there's really not much to do now. Like, the way I do my... Tom tomorrow, I've actually decided I'm going to keep in... Oh, dear. I must be sure not to die. I'm actually going to keep in my daily routine just so you can see how useful the rucksack is and how much time it saves, sort of. Um, I didn't do it very well this morning, that's probably why I haven't saved a lot of time, but it is very useful. So I'm going to keep in my day-to-day, -day, like, word-for-word, -word, you know, stuff, just so you get to see exactly how easy it is with the large rucksack. I'm just waiting for that moment when I'm going to pass out. It's, it's going to happen. I haven't seen the uh, beginnings of fatigue degeneration yet, so I'm thinking I'm fine. But you never know this game. I don't want to reload and do day again. That will take too long. Nope. Good. Okay, I'm survived. I'm now going to go sit in the hot spring to revive my stamina, then I'll clear up the farm. Right. Uh, I thought the music would stop. There it goes. I knew it would stop at some point. I was going to say. Right, yes. So, I'm in the top tub. Now it's time to clear the farm uh, up. Right, so let's make sure we get all the way to the weeds. There's one. There's another one. A reaper of grass as well. Reap you. R what? I did say reap and not something else. I am I am very fond of grasses, but I'm not that fond of grasses. And even so, I would always... um, What's the, what's the word? <laughs> get consent from grasses? That does not sound savoury at all. Anyway, continue with the reaper of grasses. Destroying grass. Everything I, say, everything I say about grasses now just makes me cringe. Um, yes, I'm just going to shut up about grasses. Yeah, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this. as what we're doing, as you can see right now. And then we're going to go over to the... Uh, nowhere. Back over to the other, back over to the other place and start ploughing the land and tilling it. Uh, for example, we need to finish this bit off, which is where something's going to be planted. I'm not sure if I've said, but I feel like I haven't, so I'm not going to say. Where's my plough? There it is. I plough my hoe. Again... After what I said about the grasses, it that doesn't really... I see, everything just sounds horrible now. I sort of corrupted this entire episode. It's outrageous! Anyway, yeah, per carrying on. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Say nothing was on the farmer's channel, I don't think that I remember. It was obviously a week ago since I last recorded that, so I haven't got a clue what I said. I suppose that's the bad, that's the bad thing about recording uh, half a day and then stopping in for a week. I can't remember what I was doing, so I might not do that again. I might stick with uh, finishing and then starting exactly on the actual uh, day of um, that I recorded. I finish finish the day that I start with. Right. Anyway, I think this is about right for when I need to keep going. Uh, I've also got a better name for the old mole. Like, I don't know what we called him, but it wasn't very good and I didn't like it at all. So I'm going to change it. I think, I think it started at Mr. Mole, and then it sort of changed. But I think I've got a better one now. So as soon as we find Mr. Mole of well, the Mr. Mole. Mr. Mole of the Underground. We will, we will give him his name. Because he must be given a name. If it doesn't be given a name, then he has, he has no point of living. Like, if you don't have it, well, if you don't have a purpose, what is the point? I mean, answer that question. That question is a good question to answer. If you don't have a purpose, what is the point? You're just here, wasting away. I'm not saying your purpose has to be a good purpose. Like, what's my purpose? I don't know. <laughs> I have one, I just don't know what it is at the moment. But, uh, say for example, say Farmer JD, his purpose right now is to create a farm, it's to save the farmland sort of thing, and to bring it back to scratch and to sort of create a good, uh, well, I, I see it as just two purposes. And I've got to see this mould again at all, am I? I see it, it's, this character has two purposes. One is to obviously redeem the farm and just get it into a thriving farmland. I was going to say community, but it's not really a community, it's a farm. That is his goal. But I also like... That is a proper goal that is actually added into the game sort of thing. But I... Oh, look, there's Mole! 
How how goes the work, Maurice? Maurice, yes. Maurice of the underground. Um, anyway. Uh, there's two purposes. That was, that's the one. That's the one that was put in the game. And then I always like to add a purpose as well. I've, it's a recent addition that I'm doing to these Let's Play things. Like, one that we've got, because... Say, for example, that like we come into this world, like, we are sort of possessing this character. Oh, look, there's Maurice again. Uh, we are possessing this character, sort of thing, and from our reality. So we need we need a goal to be here in the first place, like, we personally. So I would like to say that goal is to, we need to create a, a food source for everyone at the channel. So they're like that. Maurice, are you helping? Are you going to help me till the land? It looks like he's not. Uh, yes, but that is my purpose. That's what that's what I'm doing. I like to do things like that. Like for example, someone was saying about I said ages ago about packaging, where uh, about to throw out some products we can get, and uh, 40k warrior man. No, 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 no. It was not 40k warrior man. It was. I shouldn't have said any names because I know I'm going to get wrong now. I think it might have been Nick Pro, but it might not have been Nick Pro. It might have been someone else. So I apologise if it was not Nick Pro. But they said they were talking about twin tree eggs or something along those lines. Now, that is roughly what I had in mind when I was talking about that. But what I was talking about was uh, I wanted someone to like design some packaging like on paint or something or draw it or whatever they do with it. Like create some sort of packaging or get an egg box and cover it with... like the cover, cover the label with a piece of paper and write your own thing, like Twin Tree Eggs, write it on there. That's what I want to see. Because whoever did that would have a very special place in my heart. If that will be you, if it was Nick Pro, whoever it was, you will continue to have a special place in my heart. Anyway, make diary entry and then sleep. Like I said, today, tomorrow I'm keeping the whole day and it's like a day in my life. So make diary entry and then sleep. Did diary today? I can't remember what I did because I didn't think it was anything interesting. We visited the beach. That was it. From Farmer JD. Goo! Morning farmers, that's better. I like saying morning in the morning with the house, with the half dog and the TV and the chair and the house and the bookshelf and the boxes and the calendar and everything else that's in the house. Especially that little mouse that lives behind a bookcase. Well, anyway, TV, let's have a look at TV. What is the weather for today, your TV box? Here's tomorrow's weather forecast, a fair or day and maybe even getting a little hot. News, probably the same as the cow festival. What's the cow festival? Da, da, da. Tomorrow the cow festival will be held in the ranch in the morning. If you raise your cows, you can enter one in the prize contest. If you are going to enter the cow, be sure to tell Harley from the ranch till he comes to pay a visit. <sighs> Left on the farm. Left on the farm. The farm, a friend and Jimmy. Farm, a friend, farm, a friend. Yes, Jimmy. Remember what we were talking about yesterday? About how to milk the big size, right? If you take very good care of your cows every day, they will begin giving you milk in a big size. Talk to them, brush and feed them. Just keep taking care of them. Is that it? Yes. But you get to get the size G milk, your cow must win the cow festival contest. Oh, so I can never get the G size milk just by taking care of him every day. Yes, you have to win the cow festival, which we'll obviously witness tomorrow anyway. What's on this side? How are you doing today? Welcome to What's Your Passion. I am your host, Justin Husbin. And I'm Maku Mazunta. Today we'll be reading a letter we received from one of our viewers. Hello, I love stars. Last year's Leo Meteor Shower was amazing. I can't wait to see what kind of events happen this year. Do you guys like stars too? In this letter is written from a person with the pen name Ma. Did you see the Leo Meteor Shower last year, Mako? Of course I did. It was beautiful. Did you see it? Unfortunately, no. I didn't... I can't see the night sky right from my bed, so I was laying down to watch, and I guess I got too comfortable and fell asleep. Sounds like something you would do. Ha ha ha. Does it? Well, one day... Nice days with clear skies, you can have seats for free shooting stars from my bedroom. Oh, wow. It's not a bad idea to gaze up at the stars once in a while. Well, we're going to wrap it up for the week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye-bye. Sorry, not bye-bye. Silly. Right, time for the Farmer's Journal. The ancient, ancient thing that we read of every morning. So, the farmers turn will begin. It is the 19th of summer. It is year one. It is six o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to know. It's a Saturday. The weather outside is fair all day, apparently, according to the weather lady. Right, okay, so what we're doing today? Well, today it is the 19th. We have a tomato harvest, according to our festival. A festival, according to our um, calculations. And we should also get a visit from Barley. I can hear him snooping around outside, sort of going, Mmm, where was originals? Anyway, begin. Let me carry on. Tommy, get down on that floor. Come to me, Tommy. Wrong way. There we go. Good boy. Um, we don't have to go in there at all because we've already got everything. Uh, let's just position ourselves ready. There we go. Barley. I know you're there. Come and say hello. Probably talk about the cow festival tomorrow. 
Hey, JD. Oh, morning, JD. Well, hello, JD. Oh, completely wrong. JD, it's me, Barley. Hello, Barley. Where are you? There you are. My aged friend. We're holding the cow festival at the ranch tomorrow. Drop by if you'd like. Any large cow that is not sick or pregnant can be in the festival. I'd like to see you enter a cow next year. I'll be sure of it, mate. Well, I'll be waiting for you tomorrow, JD. All right, then, my aged friend. Good. I want to check the post as well. I feel like we should do that every day. Post. Uh, post. Nothing has come. Ugh. Nobody, nobody loves us. No post. Anyway, yeah, I did say I'm keeping everything in today, so prepare yourself for a lengthy video. Shadow, don't run around. Come here. There we go. Talk to you. There, there, Shadow. Grow up fast. Give you a little bit of whistle. There we go. He responds. That's good. Right, it's hidden enough, so we need to get some honey. Some honey. So we go down here. We should have tomato harvest. We do have a tomato harvest. Good. We'll harvest that later today as well, then. Give me some honey. Like, imagine making a label for honey. Twin tree honey or bee squad honey or something like that. It'd be amazing. I would love to see that. Right, okay, so. Uh, we did go chicken feed just there, didn't we? We good. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. That's enough. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed putting an egg in there yesterday, but I did anyway. Another, another golden one. I was going to say grey one. It's not a grey one. But I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if I put it in, but I think I did. If not, there it is. I put them in there. Uh, by the way, just in case you're wondering, the reason I don't do, I don't make use of both incubators is because I want... Say if I did two, two eggs will hatch on the same day, which means the title could not be one or the other. It, it, I couldn't do both. It had to be one or the other, and I couldn't do that. I have to have it separate. So I do one at a time, so that we can get the obviously the animal adoption names done straight away. Anyway, let's get these in there then. Right, so we need to keep two to give to Rick and Officer Harris. So there's one there, so we'll keep one there. And we'll take these two next to the bin. Come to me, thank you. Right, so... Shall we begin with... Uh, showing you what I do for the day. So, welcome to a day in my life. I am Farmer GD. This is what I do. I lose the door. Uh, I got my eggs in my rucksack now that I got the big rucksack. And then I head on off to the mountains to chop down some trees. Because deforestation is really topical nowadays. Not really, actually. I don't think many people talk about it. Right, yeah. So now, oh, she'll be usually cut away by her. I cut down the trees. You've probably seen this thousands of times before, but in case you haven't, I'll show you anyway, because it's riveting. Look. Ah, one. That's two, that is. That's three. That's another four. That's another five. Six. And six, and it chops down to stumps, you see, like firewood. It's perfect. Two. Three. I think that's four. Five. Six. Yes. Uh, right. Um, the reason we're doing this is because the next house, the next upgrade is the house. And when are we doing that? Fairly soon, I might add. So I'm uh, super hyped for that. That'll be fun and cool to do. So I can't wait. Right. Now what I'd usually do after I've done all these stumps would be go and mine and just get the things that I sell. But now I've got the big rucksack. I don't do that. I pick up everything as I go along as soon as I can. So if we do all this, bring it around the last stump. I don't actually have to do this fifth one. Uh, I worked out I only had to destroy four stumps, but... I thought one more won't hurt, so I'll do that anyway. Uh, but after we do this next upgrade, I won't do four. I'll only do two, because I've got, obviously, back a backlog of stuff. Right, so there we go. I've got me flowers and me red grasses. Me red grasses. I'll go up here. I'll get this other red grass. There we are. Perfect. And then I now need to put the eggs into the spa. That's one. Put it away. Get out the next one. There we go, so that's Sparboid eggs done for Officer Harris and Rick. Now I should go in the house. I might cut out the, this foraging this forage bit, this mining bit, because that's too boring, and you've seen that loads of times before. Okay, so I did it all. I've managed to go mining in the... Uh, uh, what's, what's it called? I... What did I do? I uh, mined to get my... Those little 10G bonuses to uh, accommodate my gift spend expenditure. Expenditure? Spend, spend, spending? To cover, to cover the costs of the gifts, I... I'm not selling rather than... I'm giving them to people rather than selling them to people. Right, yes, you may also notice I'm missing a red grass because I accidentally ate it. I did compensate for that with the amount of... 
thingy. The amount of Tenji bonuses I got, so I got an extra 10. And also, because I have got an extra space, I managed to get another bronze, bronze, copper ore in there as well. Right, there he is, as Officer Harris. Right on cue. Thank you. It's very kind of you. I haven't talked to him as well. Hey, thanks, Jody. Reading those letters from Ajay really makes me feel so much alive. life. Right, I could cut this out, actually. We don't need to see this, do we? No, we don't. Right, we'll resume from here. I'm at the shop, so it's, you know... I sort of lied when I said I'm going to keep everything in. You can use bread for your cooking, or you can eat it straight. It costs 100 tea a piece. Would you like to buy some? I would like to buy some. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was pretty simple. Uh, by the way, this, blue feather. I think I've said it before, but blue feather. Blue feather. Good. Anyway, daily dose of Ellie. Doctor prescribes it once a day. Don't worry. If that monster of yours goes to trouble, I'm going to become the Witcher. And no, I'm not playing the Witcher. The Witcher's just come out. Right, here we go. Thank you, he. But are you sure it's okay? Still an orange heart. More than another flower. Thank you, he. But are you sure it's okay? And now it's a red heart. As you can see, it's clearly definitely different. It's clearly red. It's not uh, any doubt about that. It's definitely red. Right. Hello, Ellie. What do you say now, your new dialogue? I may quit the clinic after I get married. I don't think I can work at both a marriage and a job. Anything else? No. See, I personally prefer the last dialogue. This one seems a bit weird. Like, she's obviously talking about marriage, which I suppose is a big hint, but, um... Like, it doesn't seem... You know, it's like... I, I know. I, I, okay, okay. Fair enough. Like, the last one seems more like, Oh, I like you. This one's more like, Want to get married, you know? Anyway, Ellie. I'll see you later, Ellie. Goodbye, Dr. Tim. I think uh, I'm finally taking her away from you. You can never get her again. She's mine. All mine. Right, we're looking at the inn now. So obviously you can see you've got some flowers outside and a barrel. If you go down here, you can see there's like an outside sitting area and a balcony. Now if we go inside, we'll see if we can look around some more. Because obviously we have befriended Doug all the way. Because uh, we did that first, first season, didn't we? Hello, Doug. He, he sells you things. We'll talk this. Let's look at this phone. We have a phone. It's like he's rubbing it in, isn't it? It's like, we have a phone. What do you have? Chickens. What do you have? A phone? I have chickens. What have you got? Right, what have we got here? Anything to look at? What's this? Dog's Place. Check in. Through 1 o'clock. Check out. 12 o'clock. Interesting. If not at all. Why can't, why can't we look at this one? Officer Harris is always looking at that. Makes me think there's like a most wanted thing up there. And we've got, we can like take on contracts and be like, I'll check him down for you. Wanted dead or alive. Dead or alive. We've got the cat. I've seen the cat before. Uh, there's no point going in there because I know there's nothing in there. When I had my practice run, there was nothing at all. But the interesting stuff is behind door number one. Yes, we can now go in as well. Here we go. A big old kitchen for a big old inn. TV time, anything on TV? No, no TV. Why can't we watch other people's TV? To go to other people's houses and read the <laughs> and watch their TVs. That sounds like a good way to spend our time. Watch TV at other people's houses. Right, but yes, there's a very large kitchen. No wonder this guy won the kit ki ki cooking festival. He's got the biggest kitchen of them all. Right, now, I think if we go here, we can't go in here. This is locked, because that is Karen's room, and obviously we, don't, we haven't befriended... No, Karen? Not Karen. Uh, Daisy Duke, whatever her name is. What is her name? Anne. We haven't befriended Anne all the way uh, far enough yet, so we can't go in her room. But we can go in Doug's room. He's got some sort of safe. Steal his money. What's on here? Wow, this, this, this family is the most boringest family ever. You have nothing interesting and no dialogue behind your backstories and no anything. What am I supposed to do with my time if I can't loot around your house and find secrets? Well, I'm out of here. I'm quitting. Good day to you. So, I was close to death, so to speak, with the uh, fatigue. So I went to go sit in the uh, sting called hot tub. Oh no, yeah. Oh, before... Before this guy comes, and I forgot, I did have a harvest, so... Oh, take the produce, in the bin. Yes, uh, I was going to go and do all this after I did in the hot springs, so I thought I carried on going, I would have died, but I did forget I had a harvest, so uh, he's not going to buy any of my stuff today. Oh, well, he'll buy it tomorrow. No, he won't, because it's the 20th. So it's a harvest full day, and he'll survive a harvest full day. He will buy it on the 21st if they're not all gone rotten, which I hope they're not, because they have, as unfortunate for me, but it shouldn't do, because I don't think the game does that. It has many things, but it does not have decaying fruit and vegetables. Or things with seeds and stuff, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Anyway, we'll probably just save them till next year. We throw rotten tomatoes at each other. 
or someone will get the idea to create a review website using the name Rotten Tomatoes. Maybe that's what will happen. Maybe Zack opened it. Maybe Zack is the guy that did it. Oh, mind blown. He's a critic. Because everybody's a critic nowadays. So they say. I always thought review has been like a tainted word. Like, in a day and age where... Uh, Everyone has different opinions and everyone take, experiences things differently. I feel like review is like a tainted word. Like It's like it's you casting judgment on something. Whereas, like I just said, it doesn't really mean because people are going to witness it different, experience it different. So it doesn't. It's like casting your judgment is not going to be very good about stuff. Like some people say, like IGN, they don't they give false reviews or someone some place to do with reviews which are like based on what they've been paid. So it's like reviews are always like a, a corrupted word. But I feel like. Like, what is a review? I need to sort of look that up, because... If, if, if a review is, like, passing your own opinions on a game, or, you know, if it is more finite and definite about a game, if that makes sense, uh, then I'm alright with it. But if it is... Because, like, the way I look at it is, whenever I hear a review, I'm like, ugh. You know, someone's gonna... What's the word? Just beat down on something and make some... Nit nitpick it and stuff. Like, I always... That's why I have a problem with reviews. Reviews. Like, why hate? Life's too short to be hating. So get lacking. Uh, yes, but that's my that's my thing on the matter. But uh, yeah, um, like I prefer this sort of style of reviewing. Like you're you're seeing me play the game, and usually if I really like a game, I'll be like, oh, I love this game. Like I have I don't know what the last game I did. I think from dust I did it until I started to get hard. But you know, overall it did sort of work. That's how I like reviewing. So that's in a sense that's my reviews. These games you can witness every second of me liking this game or hating it or doing whatever or. You know, you get yeah, you get to sort of pick and choose. If I'm looking for a game, I don't look for a review because a review is going to be either biased or wrong or not what I agree with. But if you look at a game, like a whole playthrough of it, you get to experience it and how what you'd like about it and stuff like that. Like for example, The Witcher is a game which I would, I'm going to get eventually, uh, like the first one because I've seen videos about it and stuff. Like, same with Dragon Age, that's the same story. Uh, a good example of one I didn't get was Rage. I watched a Rage video series and. Um, I liked the look of it. I was gonna get. I got the demo to try it out, and I did not like the controls at all. I have recently gone back to try the demo, and I did like the demo. But uh, for that first original thing, it stopped me from buying it straight away because I did not like the demo. So the thing that was supposed to sell the game didn't sell the game for me. And the thing that was is uh, sometimes like what was the word? Uh, not people don't like, as in developers like do not like these things that when they happen did I, did sell the game to me. And like I said, I was watching. I watched this series again, uh, the, the same one I was watching ages ago. And uh, I actually decided to try out the demo again, and I did, and now I'm actually going to get it, and maybe one day let's do a let's play of it. Because I can. Maybe that's one reason why I was playing it again. But yeah, that's why I don't like reviews. So if I ever say I'm going to do a review, it's not going to be a review, it's going to be something different. It's going to be my opinions. Like, make sure that is known at the start, instead of a, me casting godly, godly judgement upon it. No one has that power. Ah, Maurice. Maurice and the field. Well, Ma Maurice in the field. Ma Maurice working in the field? I have no idea. I'm trying to think of something that we've done today, like... That I can link to Maurice, but I don't think I can. I mean, we've... I don't know, I don't know. I mean, we've done a lot of... Stuff. We've done a little stir. I'm just trying to think about what we've done so we can link it to the name. So I'm trying to do names that have something to do with what we've done in the episode. Like Maurice, I want to try and do that one for this one, but I'm trying to think what we can add to it to make sure we've done. I've done a lot of farm work, so... I want to try and do maybe Ma Maurice's farm work or something. Or Maurice. Maurice on the farm. Maurice under the farm. Maurice is under the farm. Something like that, maybe. Mm, interesting. I'll think about it while I'm sitting in the hot tub, and I will let you know. After I have relaxed in the bath. With bubbles. And a rubber ducky. I forgot to come back during the farm run. Anyway, yeah, we're all done. Uh, I'm not sure about the t title of this episode. I think maybe Maurice under the farm. Or Maurice is under the farm? No, wait. We're going to sit here, and we're going to think of a name. Maurice Farm. What's under the farm now? I have no idea. Maurice. Because I wanted to try. We've done a lot of farm work. I think the only thing I can do is the farm work. That's all we've pretty much done, isn't it? Farm work. 
Hmm. Calling. Calling upon Maurice. Calling Maurice. Something like that, because we were doing the hoeing. So I'm thinking maybe people might make that assumption like we're digging and we're calling up the mole. Yes. Summoning Mole Reese. That's what this is called. Dear Diary, we have got a title for this episode, and I can't believe I found it. Today, we are not done a lot. From Farmer JD.